we're at the Bankless Optimization Project, and here is the tailwater outlet. This is where the water from the set of three bays is released into a tail drain and, and recirculated around to the storage system. So we have a manual height gauge here, and beside it here is a pressure transducer which measures the height of water as well. So because of the design of the system, this water, when this gate opens, gravity falls down through a pipe into a tail drain across the road here. There. Because this is a, a known shape, and we've got the height of water here, and it's a gravity fall, the volume of water that goes through this outlet can be calculated. That way we can measure what the tail water from the set of three bays is when we're doing part of the efficiency measurements. One of the pieces of technology we're using here is to measure the volume of water that goes into a bay when we're irrigating. So what we've got behind me here is, it's actually the transmission unit, but attached to that transmission unit is a, a thing called a Doppler ultrasonic sensor, and it can measure flow velocity of water. And then you know, based on the dimensions and shape of the pipe, they can do some um, calculations to, to calibrate it so we know the volume of water and um, the flow rate that's coming into the bay at um, any given time. And that allows us then to uh, calculate how much water is going down per furrow uh, as part of the uh, calculations that we'll need to do the efficiency um, uh, parameters and um, indices that will be calculated at the end of the uh, trial. Okay, so what we have here is one of our advanced sensors. So this one here is a single trans transmission unit so here's your uh, part that is your telemetry for the data that's collected but what we have within this post and then here are some pressure transducers and they can measure one when the water um, reaches a point within the field where the wherever the sensor is located and then to the depth of water that's in the furrow there so from that we should be able to um, work out the water advance rate and um, and then how well that furrow feels. And if we get a furrow profile, we can calculate uh, roughly what the uh, volume of water going through is in a furrow. Yeah. So this one here, we can do three, three furrows of water. So one that this is set, sitting in, and then the one either side of it, these can be pinned in there and do three furrows, but it all transmits from the one node. The other ones we have here, it's the same system just without the extra pressure transducers on it. So placed in one furrow and give us the data for one furrow there. What we've set up for this trial is in one bay, there are three lots of five. So they'll be roughly placed at a quarter way across, halfway across and three quarter way across. So there's three of them within the bay and then there's five sets at 200 meters apart going down the bay.